Hi everyone, uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, it's been a little while since I did a video. Uh, I've been doing some work and um, basically uh, my next projects, I'm gonna need a lot of coils made uh, for my pulse generators. So I was winding them by hand and it got to the point where I just totally despised winding it by hand. So what I did was um, I built myself a, a, a coil winder so I picked up a 12 volt uh, DC motor on Amazon, cost like uh, cost like twenty two dollars Canadian. So I bought one of those. It's a good torquey motor. It's a good size motor for for what I paid. And inside the the proto box, I got um, a pulse width modulator that can handle up to about 15 amps, uh, which also has I don't know if you can see it on the video here. It has a potentiometer here, so I can control the RPM. So when you're doing the coil winding, it's it's pretty difficult to control it with, you know, you're trying to guide in all the um, the winds as they're going back and forth. So you would put your coil, uh, I print these on my uh, 3D printer, my coil spools, and you shove it on the end here and you uh, get your winding on there and you start to wind. So I went one step further. I bought myself um, a foot pedal uh, switch and this goes on the floor and as you're going if you need to stop all you do is tap your foot and the, the spool will stop turning not only that because you're going to be using two hands now you got two hands free one can control the rpm with the um the uh, potential uh, potentiometer here on the side i don't know if you can see it so you can see it spinning now i turned up the rpm and it goes pretty fast, and you have full control with the potentiometer. And uh, you can make your windings. So, and to stop it, you just press, the tap it with your foot, and it stops. So if you need to stop and uh, put a layer of uh, thermal tape down, you can do so. And then all you do to start it back up is tap with your foot again. And uh, yeah, she's up and running. And now as you're winding, you have full control of the RPM so you can go faster, slower, whatever. So you can see the RPM. It goes pretty fast and it's quite torquey motor too. So this has helped me make coils like big time. It's really, really helped. And as you can see, I made one here on the weekend. Now this one's about 450 turns and it's solid. And uh, all the windings are very, very evenly uh, wrapped on there. So it's not like clumping in certain areas. So I'm able to make a very, very balanced uh, coil. And uh, this will help you with your motors. And then you can put your ferrite uh, or iron core in the middle for your magnet, uh, to, you know, for the, uh, for the coil. And uh, yeah, this is going to uh, save me a lot of time and a lot of headaches making coils. So I didn't, you could go out and buy these coil winders on Amazon. They're like 300 I've seen some of them the highest two thousand dollars. I said heck with it. So I built this thing for like under fifty bucks, and um, you just hook it up. I got the foot pedal switch, so I have full control over everything. Yeah, so it worked out good. So I'm gonna wrap up the video. If you like my video, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give me a thumbs down. Don't forget to subscribe and become a member of my uh, my page. And uh, give me some feedback. Oh, and also the like the uh, the winding of spool that you have sits here, and you use your hand and you go back and forth and wind it, and you have full control with your pedal. Uh, sorry, I forgot to add that in. So you have a spot to put your uh, stock uh, um, uh, magnet wire. So you just put the spool there, and then with your other hand you hold it and just feed it in and it unrolls as you go, and it doesn't get tangled, and it's very very convenient. So anyways, that's pretty much it for this video. If you like it, um, give me a thumbs up. If you don't, give me a thumbs down. And don't forget to subscribe, everybody. And we'll see you soon.